Hello and welcome to The Power of Open, a series of programs covering Red Hat's open ecosystem where we talk with some of Red Hat's key partners to discuss the pressing topics in the industry. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and in this show we're going to look at how partnerships are enabling innovation for telcos in key areas such as private 5G and Edge. And joining me today are Warren Small, Senior Group Vice President of Strategic Growth and Incubation at NTT, and Honoré Labaudet, Vice President, Global Partner Ecosystem Success Team, Telco Media and Entertainment at Red Hat. Well, hello, very good to see you both. Thanks so much for taking part in today's discussion. Honoré, let me start by asking you, you know, could you tell us a little bit more about Red Hat's open ecosystem and the important role that partners like NTT play in bringing new technologies to market with telco customers? Sure. At Red Hat, open is in our DNA. We work hard to bring together industry leading partners and trusted open source communities in a way that helps ensure customers experience flexibility, security, and continued innovation. NTT and Red Hat have a long standing partnership, 13 years running as a matter of fact. Our alliance in the telco industry in particular is evolving and growing to meet the market demands and the demands of our joint customers. Uh, Red Hat you know, relies on ESO ecosystem partners like NTT in order to ensure our customers' success. With NTT, we can ensure that we're delivering the best solutions to our customers uh, and uh, doing that in the most cost-effective and efficient way. And Honoré, how has this partnership between Red Hat and NTT evolved? And what can you tell us about the future of this partnership? NTT started as a Red Hat cloud services provider in Japan and has now evolved to become one of Red Hat's premier global systems integrator partners with joint business engagements spanning across all regions of the world. We do have a key vertical focus on telco media and entertainment, but we also work very closely with NTT uh, across all verticals, uh, in particular, the financial services is in industry. As I had mentioned earlier, we've been partners for 13 years now, and that partnership continues to evolve with the marketplace. Um, we continue to work together uh, to bring solutions to the market that are relevant uh, and that are impactful to ensuring our customers' success. And Warren, can you tell us more about the partnership between the two companies and how you see it evolving? Thank you, Guy. Enterprises are transforming globally, regardless of the industry, at a rapid pace. And we see the, the, the true value of this relationship with Red Hat is not only the product capability that Red Hat and the experience globally, but it allows us at NTT to deliver a solution that's security interconnected from the edge to the cloud. And Warren, let's move on to private 5G for a moment. What are some of the key trends you're seeing in private 5G and how might a Red Hat NTT partnership enable innovation in this key area? Guy, where to start with private 5G? Wow. Every industry, as I shared earlier today, you know, has this desire, this insatiable desire for connectedness. But the true value from private 5G is what allows organizations to achieve through the accelerated connectivity. And the speed of this connectivity allows the enterprise or these new digital ecosystems to leverage the telemetry to make quicker and faster decisions. You know, I recently was in a, a conversation with an enterprise who's, was, who was looking to leverage the private 5G connectivity because some of the IoT devices were becoming so intelligent that they themselves would be communicating to their owners or service owners that the, the, the service request required in a near real time manner to ensure that there was no downtime. So I've described the, the value of private 5G around three areas. One, accelerated connectedness. Two, speed and resilience. And three is efficiency. Thanks, Warren. Uh, Honore, this is a dynamic area, isn't it? 
What are some of the key trends that you're seeing in, in private 5G right now? We've, saw, we've seen 5G move more and more towards software-defined implementation. Red Hat Edge platforms fully support that trend, and our approach to 5G and edge computing for service providers is focused on creating a reliable, low latency network with computing environment close to the mobile and fixed users. Because no one vendor has a complete edge solution, key to success is the partnership with NTT and the work that NTT and Red Hat is doing together. So in addition to the technology trends that we're seeing with 5G, we're also at the forefront of the open ecosystem trend that's required to fully realize the benefits of 5G, whether that's from the cloud edge core all the way to the, to the edge and the far edge. And Honoré, you mentioned edge there. Um, what challenges are you seeing from customers as they build their edge computing strategies? And how can Red Hat with NTT help address some of these challenges? Customers are working hard to thoughtfully integrate their ecosystem partners into their edge computing strategy. And we're constantly working to ensure that the solutions are open, but also secure and, sc and scalable while still being reliable and, and offering the performance that the customers need. Uh, both Red Hat and NTT see edge computing as a critical new growth opportunity and are engaging to build alignment and develop joint solutions in this particular area. We wanna do all that we can together to minimize the complexity and the challenges that our customers may have as they try to deploy these new edge technologies and solutions. And Warren, what about you? What challenges are you seeing from customers as they build out their edge computing strategies? Guy, it's all new. You know, every client is unique. Every client is looking for strategic insight and for advice on how to embrace this new ecosystem. The opportunity for us is, is not only uh, immense, but it allows us to engage with our clients on a different level. We engage with our clients to understand the intent through consultative workshops and ensure that security is interconnected into every single dialogue so that they can truly embrace the values of automation and the values of this new ecosystem and open community. Yeah, some really important points there. And, and Warren, with such rapid market change around Edge for Enterprise, how is your approach to partnerships and the ecosystem changing? Guy, that's an incredible question. You know, in preparing for this interview, one of the things that kind of dawned to me in the past was there was always a one-to-one -one conversation and one-to-one -one partnership organization, industry partner and, or manufacturer the desire to have an ecosystem where all organizations can collaborate around the value that each party can bring. So we've seen the transformation from being one to one to one to an ecosystem where the sum of multiple parts will deliver a more effective outcome to our clients. And the thing that's most heartwarming for me is that we've seen the engagement with Red Hat and a lot of our clients be very transparent in terms of their desires, their demands, because this is all so new, but they respect that, in, that the ability to excel and the ability to achieve key results is through that open community and open collaboration. Yeah, thanks very much, Warren. And, and Honoré, as Warren just said there, a lot of this is so new to enterprises and, and, uh, and customers. You know, how, how is your approach to partnerships and ecosystem changing? Well, I have to echo what Warren said, uh, especially as it relates to the one-to-one, -one, you know, the historical one-to-one -one partnerships are now a thing of the past. Um, we continue to see a growing emphasis on open partnerships and no one vendor can offer an end-to-end -end solution. Uh, it's important to have partnerships with companies like NTT who bring a depth and breadth of systems integration capabilities and technology capabilities, because rarely do we go together to service a customer and there isn't other partners involved as well. So we're focused on tapping the strengths of each of the partners that are there to serve our customers, 
identify opportunities to connect these ecosystems together in new and innovative ways, and come together with all of our value propositions to ensure our customers can be successful, not only now, but as this technology continues to evolve. As we mentioned earlier, we're in the very early stages. It's very dynamic, it's exploding, and we not only want to be there together for our customers today, but we want to ensure that we're adding value uh, for the future as they go forward. Yeah, exciting times. Well, we must leave it there for now. Honoré and Warren, thank you both very much indeed for taking part in our discussion today. To watch more programmes on the power of Open, Red Hat's Open Ecosystem Series, simply click on the links below this video. For now, thank you for watching and goodbye.